I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Clive Staples Lewis Hello, dear friends. We all know that life on Earth is impossible without the sun, its warmth and sunlight. But what would happen if, all of a sudden, our star simply vanished? Let's explore this scenario together in this video. Before we begin, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss our new and fascinating videos about space and the universe. Let's imagine that the sun suddenly disappeared, not just stopped shining, but completely vanished. This incredible scenario leads to some exceptionally interesting consequences. The sun would simply evaporate, leaving no trace behind. Initially, we wouldn't even realize that our star was no longer with us. Its light takes approximately 8 minutes, or more precisely, 499 seconds to reach Earth. That means we would spend all that time in blissful ignorance, not even suspecting that we have a problem. A very serious problem. Once these eight minutes have passed, light would cease to reach Earth, and suddenly night would fall, as if someone had switched off the light. There would be no more sunsets or twilight as the star simply vanished rather than gradually fading away. Moreover, at that very moment, not only would the sun's light cease to affect Earth, but its gravity would also disappear, according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, which states that the speed of gravity waves is equal to the speed of light. Right now, Earth is orbiting the sun at a speed of 108,000 kilometers per hour. When the sun disappears and its gravitational pull vanishes, Earth's speed would remain the same. To understand why, you can picture a person swinging a stone at the end of a rope, spinning it around their head, and then letting go. The stone would fly in a straight line from its initial point, just as Earth would continue on a straight path through space from where the Sun used to be. The chances of colliding with other planets are negligible. Our solar system is so vast that they are like peas scattered across a football field. Additionally, Mars, Venus, Jupiter and other celestial bodies would also scatter in all directions along straight trajectories without affecting them. However, we wouldn't witness this happening. The celestial bodies in our system would simply disappear from our field of view. After all, they only reflect the star's light, and without it, they become invisible to astronomy. For example, it takes about 33 minutes for light to travel from the Sun to Jupiter. Add to that the time it takes for the reflected light to reach Earth, and we would be able to observe the giant planet through a telescope or with the naked eye for only about an hour, after which it would vanish from our sight. Let's consider the Moon, which is much closer to us. It would become invisible to us just 500.3 seconds after the Sun's disappearance because its light reaches us in just 1.3 seconds. Now we embark on a remarkable journey at a speed of 29.78 kilometers per second to explore the Milky Way. Even reaching the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, would take us a whopping 43,000 years and that's only if we happen to be propelled in its direction by chance. More likely, Earth is doomed to orbit the center of the Milky Way just like all the other outcast planets. Our journey turns out to be quite joyless. Eternal night descends upon Earth, and we can see the stars and the darkness of space regardless of the time of day. Photosynthesis stops, and small plants wither and die within days. As for large trees, they would continue to live for several years or even decades thanks to accumulated nutrients, but ultimately, they too would meet the same sad fate. The surface temperature begins to drop. For Earth to radiate heat into space, it takes time. It would take about a week to drop the thermometer to zero degrees Celsius and a year to reach minus 100 degrees Celsius. After several million years, the temperature would stabilize at around minus 240 degrees. This is the temperature that the Earth's core can maintain, as explained by David Stevenson, a professor of planetary science at the University of California. However, warmth would persist in the planet's core for a long time thanks to the mantle and the core. This could potentially be humanity's salvation.
If humans manage to build underground cities closer to the core, or at least settle near volcanoes and geothermal sources, they could theoretically endure for some time. Life on the surface, of course, would completely disappear, but in the oceans, life would endure. The oceans would become covered with a thick layer of ice, several kilometers thick, but they would remain liquid inside. Conditions they would resemble those on Saturn's moon, Titan. Algae and bacteria would survive, but fish would struggle. However, deep sea species would begin to adapt. After several million years, the oceans of Earth the outcast would freeze to the bottom. The remaining life within them would die out completely. With nuclear energy sources and the ability to extract oxygen from water ice, isolated human settlements could still persist. However, it would be a rather grim existence. The end would be near as eventually the remaining living beings would either freeze or suffocate due to the lack of oxygen. In the end, Earth would turn into a lifeless, solid, frozen rock floating in space. To be fair, there would be some benefits to the disappearance of the Sun, or at least that's what NASA physicist Randall Munro believes. For example, without it, we could observe the stars around the clock, and since people would move to live underground, artificial city lights would no longer obstruct the view of the beauty of space. Furthermore, with the disappearance of the Sun, there would no longer be a need to consider Earth's time zones, and we could switch to coordinated universal time. In theory, this could have a positive impact on stock trading, if it still exists. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to be the first to see fascinating videos about our universe. Please write in the comments if you'd like to see more videos of this format. Thanks, and see you next time.